Hello, Jeff Tochi here. Yes, already. Hey, be quiet. Be quiet, Grumbly. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> this is a serious video, Grumbly. Be quiet. Okay. Okay. Um, I have made some changes to my my Revenge of the Nerds. That's right. Go to sleep. Um, to my Revenge of the Nerds thing that I came up with. I've changed the name. And I have changed the rules that I gave myself. Yes, I give myself rules. I'm a true ADHD, OCD person. I have given myself the rules that I can only, when I, I am currently showing movies, that shows videos that are from people that were in Revenge of the Nerds. And I'm going to let him be in 2, 3, and 4 also. But, 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 here's a big but. No, I'm not going to show you my butt. Okay. It, ha it has to be a movie after that movie was made. So, like, if I'm going to do a movie about an actor from part four, the movie has to be made after part four. <laughs> and the same with everybody from part, part one, which is somebody that, that I'm showing the movie from. Yes. Was a movie made after Revenge of the Nerds. It's an actor that was in it. He played Gilbert in Revenge of the Nerds. If you want a Revenge of the Nerds style movie from this movie, you're not going to get it, man. It is Hawks. Yes, with Timothy Dalton and, of course, the great Anthony Edwards. This was made in 1989. This says 1988. But I said, I said, Google said 1989. Should I believe the box or should I believe Google? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'll just leave that open there. Yes, and this is, um, it says what it is. It says it's a black comedy. We've got two men. Anthony Edwards' character is an ex-football player. Who is basically dying. <laughs> and Timothy Dalton is a lawyer who is also that. They are, yes, time is running out for a brilliant English lawyer, Timothy Dalton. And young American football player, Anthony Edwards of Top Gun. But I say Anthony Edwards of Revenge of the Nerd. Terminally ill and hospitalized, they decide to slug it out with fate by forming a two-man escape committee. Sneaking out to clubs and fine restaurants in their hospital garb is just a prelude to their ultimate escape. 
they steal an ambulance and head straight from Amsterdam and its world famous brothels. <laughs> this witty, sparkling, yet poignant black comedy offers torty force performances from Dalton and Edwards. Okay. Yes. And I'll tell you one thing. First time I watched this movie, I was saying, Anthony Edwards, Anthony Edwards, yay. I watched it, I think, when I was 18. Yeah. That's good. Anthony Edwards, Gilbert. And you get to see him kind of very depressed can't walk anymore yeah he's he's going through a lot and he is very depressed about it timothy dalton on the other hand has taken a different approach to um dying yes he ha is playing jokes on the staff and the staff is kind of going a little nutty about it. Yes, he wears the clown nose a lot and tries to scare the nurses and is kind of trying to cheer up Anthony Edwards' character. Yes, so at the start of it, I was feeling very sorry for Anthony Edwards' character. And being very annoyed by Timothy Dalton. Because, damn, I was a little depressed. You can't, you, you leave, leave Anthony Edwards alone. He, he just wants to be left alone. But no. He finally makes that breakthrough with the character. And they start having fun together. Yes, and keep getting in trouble. By the end of the movie, instead of Anthony Edwards feeling sorry for himself with a walker, you, you see him with a bike. And that's how he's standing himself up. And he's not feeling as sorry for himself anymore. He's, he's hugging a, a prostitute. As well as Timothy Dalton's character, you know. And you know, if I would have, if I had read the back of that, I would not have watched this movie. Unless my Anthony Edwards was in it. And I would have not heard that soundtrack. The soundtrack. Original songs by Barry Gibb. Original score by Barry Gibb. You know, Bee Gees fame. John Cameron. Oh. And director Robert Ellis Miller. Yes, it kind of reminds you. Um, deal with what life gives you. You know, deal with it, man. Yeah. So, hmm. yes. And this came from Revenge of the Nerds, man. It was made after Revenge of the Nerds from a hell of good actor from Revenge of the Nerds. Hell of good actor made it. From Revenge of the Nerds. Except John Goodman. John Goodman won't admit he was in Revenge of the Nerds. John Goodman can go get a jock strap with liquid heat. And if you haven't seen Revenge of the Nerds, you won't get that reference. If you have, you'll get it. Everybody. Have a nice day. 
I am going to go stuff a pumpkin. <laughs> Goodbye.